welcome back to another diecast talk video today we have a three minute long video that of course we're going to talk over and I'm going to give my opinion and hopefully not look like an idiot for not knowing some fact about the diecast but we got a kind of a weird episode today we've got a train which you're looking at now which is the best picture I could get I couldn't find any other picture so I apologize for the really zoomed in image we got some of that we got some well, we got a new wave. We got some new one, uh, 64 releases and some new 124 releases. So let's go ahead and get into it. Right now you are seeing a Richard Petty uh, Lionel Train. I didn't know they still made these, like, uh, driver trains. I had no clue. But, I mean, I guess I still do. I've only seen a Richard Petty one, and this is not what I'm talking about. There's been other ones that I've seen in the past. And there is a spider above my Bristol track, so that's uh, that's nice. I'm recording it right here in front. <clears throat> Excuse me, but got that train here. Not much really to it. We'll have a cancel diecast. Um, Moffitt's uh, 164 scale number 46 performance plus Arca diecast. This was canceled. Uh, how do you guys like the new little cancel logo thingy? Instead of just saying canceled on top and the scales on the bottom or scale, I put a big old canceled sign over over top of it. And I think it looks pretty decent. But yes, this was canceled. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I would have liked to have uh, some type of Arca release this year. Hopefully, sometime soon. Uh, that would be really nice. Maybe start an Arca series. I know why now might be doing the 164 trucks here soon. So that will be pretty cool to do. Have multiple series. Already have Xfinity and Cup series. But we have some haulers. Daniel Suarez, uh, Aris Stanley, or Aris slash Stanley replica hauler. I don't like how it's two sponsors and the main like hauler color is white. I'm not really liking that. So that's probably my least popular or my least favorite one. Have an Austin Dillon Dow replica hauler. Ron Newman Caterpillar rec uh, Replica Hauler and a Brad Kozlowski Discount Tire Hauler. Not big in the haulers, but these are some pretty cool ones. Uh, especially that Austin Dillon. I kind of like that one. But we have a race win pre order. Uh, almost said Kurt Busch. Uh, Kevin Harvick, Bush Lights, Michigan win. I'm uh, pretty sure Mr. Affleck Cup Series, you know, I'm pretty sure he was there at the Michigan race. Him being a Michigan boy, he probably was. Yeah, I think it was because he did like a, uh, a haul on it, didn't he? On his channel, probably. I think he did. I'm pretty sure I watched something like that, but it was probably him. I've watched a lot of these hauls here lately, so I'm sure he was one of them. Chase Elliott's number nine, Sun Energy 1. Race win from the Glen. Now, the preview of the actual paint scheme looked god-awful. It did. But on track, as you can see right here, it actually looks good. Like, the preview was an actual purple. This is like a blue. I don't know how in the world they got that as a render, but it just looks really, really bad. On the render, but the die cast, or the car itself, looks actually pretty good. So I hope Lionel doesn't mess this one up. I said that weird. hope it doesn't mess this one up, and I hope this turns out to be a good die cast. The last race win we have for today... Uh, Kurt Busch and his number 41 Haas slash Monster Energy Bristol Motor Speedway win Don't know if it's going to be 164 and if it is I mean they're obviously going to take off the Monster Energy banners Or in the logos they may replace the monster uh, On the hood with Haas or something Maybe but I don't know how this is going to turn out in 164 I wish like with race wins they would just put it on a base like, I mean, I really wish they would, but they kind of can't due to licensing reasons and sponsor reasons and contracts and all this stuff. But that is Kurt Busch's win, his first win since the Daytona 500 last year. So, good for him. Denny Hamlin's Xfinity, still had no clue uh, he drove Xfinity even like a little bit. But this is, I'm pretty sure this is a Darlington throwback. Uh, has Joe Gibbs above the... Wait, is that Joe Gibbs or J.D. Gibbs? It's something Gibbs. I can't really tell from this picture. 
Looks like JD, because I don't see an E. So it's probably just JD Gibbs. Which probably Joe D. Gibbs, I would uh, I would assume. But sports clips, haircuts, uh, help a hero. That is now available for pre-order. More than likely at K-State and Plan B sales. 90% of these are Plan B sales, if not anywhere else. Or if not 100%. Kyle Bush's, number 18. Winning flavor. Uh, was that Crunchy Mint? Never even heard of Crunchy Mint. I've heard of Mint. I've actually had some of the Mint ones, but I've never had of the Crunchy Mint ones. So that is interesting. Not a bad looking die cast. Of course, it got that mint green. And they got the leaves on it for Mint. I mean, obviously. Uh, we got... Pretty sure this is Eric Jones throwback. Uh, I'm saying pretty sure because they look like throwbacks. But they don't have the white uh, tires or the white lettering on the tires for the preview or the render. So I'm, pr I'm pretty sure this is a uh, Darlington throwback along with Hamlin. Cor correct me if I'm wrong. But I'm pretty sure I'm right. This is Sports Clips. Kind of reminds me of baseball. And got help, help a hero. Right there, just like Denny Hamlin. Just a different number. Uh, Bill Elliott, ISM Connect, uh, number 23. This is an interesting one. I didn't think he was going to race anymore, Bill Elliott. Uh, but it's pretty cool to see Bill Elliott return, especially after his son winning uh, a race. He returns after that. But that is pretty cool. Bill Elliott's number 23. Definitely going to try to get this one if it's not canceled, which I don't think it will be. We got Kevin Harvick's number 98, Hunt Brothers Pizza. Uh, Darlington throwback. Still haven't got the normal version. I really want the normal version, though. I'm probably going to have to buy it off eBay for 10 bucks, uh, sadly. But, yeah, I still need to get that for my series. Still on the 41. Same sponsor, different number. Uh, got a prototype. Chase Elliott's number 9 test car. I have this in the 164 scale. And I had done a review and a test race already on it. Which that test race wasn't the best. I get that, I know. But hey, I'll, I'm getting better along the way. But that is his test car. Looks pretty good for a test car. Danica Patrick's number 7. Um, go, go Gaggy, what? Go Daddy Car. Uh, I got this in the 124 scale on the Authentics. Or 164 scale on the Authentics, I'm sorry. And want to get it in the 164 scale on the Gold Series. That should be coming up here soon. Possibly Wednesday. But if not, it'll be like Friday or something. And I won't know what to do on Wednesday. But I got this along with a Elliott Sadler 2018 1 Main. That should be coming in soon. But this is Dan Patrick's final ride. And she's still crashing it, even in the Indy series. Uh, Kyle Busch, Interstate Batteries, 2018. Not a big fan of it. Uh, he's had this for the past two. I think he had it in 2015. I don't know 2016, but I know he had it in 2017, and now here we are in 2018. And he has that same paint scheme. Still, I mean, still a good paint scheme. I just hate repeats of paint schemes. This one was kind of zoomed in, I, I apologize, but this is uh, Dell Jr.'s Mountain Dew car. It's either liquid color or color chrome. I think it's liquid color, maybe color chrome. I, 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 I can't tell the difference. It's basically the same thing. But there is that. I wish I had a little more zoomed out photo, but I do not, so I apologize. Another color chrome or liquid color. Dell Jr.'s Final Ride race version. I don't like how they put the race version with the color chrome or co a liquid color. I just, I don't like it. Why? I don't know. And I'm still trying to get the final ride in the 124 scale. I'm trying. I'm trying. I, I promise. Probably going to get a 2004 Daytona 500 winner from, uh, from Dell Jr. Then I'll probably work to get the Alex Alta 124 scale uh, final ride. But... I'm trying. I promise you that. May take a little bit. May take a little bit, a little bit. Here's what I was talking about. Danica Patrick's number 7. 164 scale on the Gold Series. Comes with a little special box. Got 500 on there. 
pretty cool that they didn't cancel it, which I really thought it was canceled. Uh, that was from Way 5, and so was this one. Uh, Ryan Blaney's PPG. Pretty cool die cast. Uh, looks just like Logano's in, or Logano's and his in the Xfinity series. I think they're driving different numbers, though. They switch numbers and drivers like mad. Here's another one I'm getting pretty soon. AJ Allmendinger's, uh, Kroger, Click List, Velveeta, Cheerios, you know. He has all of the sponsors for whatever reason. But this is AJ Allmendinger's 2018 Camaro. Definitely going to get this one. This is really good for the series. If you have a stop motion series on, uh, on uh, if you have a stop motion series of your own, I highly suggest getting this because it's a lower team on a Camaro, and that is good for the stop motions. Definitely good for mine as well. That should be coming here soon, maybe within a month or so, maybe even longer. I don't know. Got some one twenty-four scales. Uh, I meant to put these before the 164s, but oh well. I uh, got the number three Daytona 500 win. Austin Dillon. Uh, they have the correct color fade. Uh, before on the prototype, the color fade was incorrect. It was pushed back all the way to the uh, AAA logo right there. But they did fix that. And now it is available, probably. I don't see any prototypes on any of these die casts so I'm pretty sure they are available for like actual purchase so that's good uh, Kevin Harvick Bush Light slash Mobile One die cast not the race version of Bristol or not Bristol uh, Michigan but that is the paint scheme he did run it's interesting to see in the 164 scale just see how that kind of turns out this is a beautiful die cast um, Chase Elliott's number 9, Mountain Dew Baja Blast. One of the best drinks in existence. But this Baja Blast car looks pretty, pretty nice. That blue, the sparkle, the black, the Camaro, uh, classic Camaro stripes. Hopefully, Lionel does not screw this one up. And hopefully they will do a good job on this one. That would be really nice. Really, really nice. Got a couple of Ron Blaney's here. Ryan Blaney Pennzoil slash Menards. Um, the yellow does not match the other yellows. Like, for example, the rims, the 12, the splitter, and the spoiler does not match the yellow on the hood and the roof. So, that's kind of sad. But you know what? It's all good. Uh, still going to use it for stop motion. 164 scale, obviously. But I don't know about the 124 if I would purchase it even if I wanted it because just just the different colors doesn't make it really look good and it's very noticeable because it's just on a bigger scale you know you're going to see more of that so I, I don't know I wouldn't pick it up but it's just me uh, Dex Imaging I'm pretty sure I say that uh, Ryan Blaney once again white and red white rims uh, white number 12 white logo white splitter or spoiler I'm sorry and red splitter not bad really looking uh, to the 164 scale of this if it wasn't cancelled I don't think it was we haven't had cancelled die casts in a long time other than like the Arca one but we haven't had a load of cancelled die casts so that's pretty good good I was gonna say cool and good and came out good sorry this one was really interesting uh, Kyle Busch, Snickers Almond. I don't know because there is a lot going on with this die cast. I, d I just don't know how it's going to look in 164. I just, I don't know if I like it. Like, I'm kind of mixed on it. Like, I mean, it looks okay, but the cream, like the creamy color in the front, I don't, I don't really like that. I don't know. That's just me, though. And no, it's not because it's Kyle Busch and I hate Kyle Busch. It's just. Normally he has good paint schemes, but I wouldn't really count this one as one of those good paint schemes. I mean, I'm sure it's good for some people, but for me, it's just not really the one. I'm not really a big fan of it. You may be, but I'm not really. So, shall we? Another Kyle Busch. This was ran at Bristol, not this last race, but earlier this season. This was ran at Bristol. 
and this is a Skittles number 18 uh, pretty plain I'm pretty sure we had this in 2016 as well but you know what that's alright it's all good uh, I guess God, I, I didn't pick that one up so I'm glad they remade it I guess <laughs> I don't remember, I think the new mold started in 2017, didn't it? Not 2016? Yeah, I'm pretty sure the new... Yeah. Yeah, the new mold came out in 2017. Right? For the new Toyotas? It was like ended it more? Yeah, I believe so. I think that's how it works. Wave 5, or Wave 7, my bad. Not Wave 5, you freaking idiot. Wave 7! Yay! A really good wave. Apparently not good enough to some people. We have an NHRA that is very, very uh, understandable that people didn't like this. I get it. I understand. I don't either. But you know what? I think I can accept that. I mean, that's fine. With me, anyway. McDonald's. Uh, Camaro. Jamie McMurray, forgot his name for a minute. But this is really nice. I like how this paint scheme looks. Kyle Larson ran one like it as well. That one isn't out yet, I'm pretty sure. I thought this one was canceled too. It probably was, but in like 124 or something. I don't know, but it's just, I, I it's hard to remember all these die casts. It really honestly is. It may not seem like it. But once you've done a whole bunch of these and you've talked about so many die casts, it is just really hard to understand and like kind of keep up with stuff. But I mean, I'll get better as I go. Hopefully my memory will get somewhat better. I know I'm not the best at this. I know I'll get my stuff wrong, but sometimes I just have bad pictures and bad memory. So yeah, you got you to gotta deal with me with that, people. You got to deal with it. Uh, you got to repeat. Number two, Brad Kozlowski Alliance truck parts. I if I'm probably gonna get this up or get this up, probably gonna pick it up just because I mean, it's it's I'm getting all the wave, but I return some if I don't really want it. I could use it for another custom diecast, because I mean, why not? People love it, right? I mean, why not keep doing it? People want to see it. People really like it. So I got some ideas. I might have to use it on this one. Brad, you might be a victim, maybe, but I mean, pretty decent die cast. We've had it since 2016. Uh, not Matt Kenseth, but Trenter, Trevor Bain, Performance Plus Motor Oil. This one saved me. It really did, because I was going to get it in the Gold Series, and it was like, you know what? And I'll hold off, not because I think it was going to be in a wave. I was like, you know what? I'll hold off. I got a Trevor Bain. I don't know. I was debating on it. But now this is in a wave. Heck yeah, I'm getting it. Uh, pretty nice diecast overall. I love how this diecast looks, especially on the side right there. Pretty cool, I think. Ooh, yeah, here was a good one. Ty Dillon. I mean, it's Ty Dillon. But Geico, number 13, Camaro. I, I wanted this one really bad because I didn't want to really use a Twisted T for the Daytona 500. I wanted to use the Geico one. So now that is in a wave. I am very happy and I really hope that I do not miss out on this wave because this is an amazing wave. I think this beats uh, the wave 11 last year by far. And I only liked it because it had all the wind die cast stuff. It was, just, it was really cool. But we have a Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Yates tribute. Not a throwback, but a tribute to Mr. Yates himself. So that's pretty cool to have a tribute die cast in here. Pretty cool. I say pretty cool a lot. Here's one that shocked me. And I mean shocked me. I was so surprised. Because I didn't, I saw like what could be in this wave. But I didn't believe it. And boom. It said ha ha to me. Because it, it was true. This is his playoff car. Um, Martin Truex Jr. Bass Pro Shops. This is the raced version Homestead. Now I wish they had another one. I wish they replaced the NHRA with a normal playoff car. 
uh, like, you know, without the confetti and without the damage, just a plain playoff car, that would have worked great for me. But still, this is just insane. It's really cool. It's got the green. It's got the black confetti. Cool part is where I have the Dale Jr. Final Ride race version, it's got the confetti from this die cast on the lat die cast. Or a car, cars, I guess. Because in real life, that some of the car, some of the confetti from Truex's car got to Junior's car, and where they bumped on the back stretch to congratulate each other on what a great season, a great trip it was for Dale, and congratulating Martin Truex Jr. on his championship. Hopefully that damage is there too. So it's kind of like a puzzle, you know. It goes well, it goes together pretty well, and I'm really happy about that. Speaking of 88, this isn't Dale Jr., but this is Alex Bowman, Darlington Throwback Lumar, window film. I was going to get this in the Gold Series, but I was like, you know what, I'll hold off, because why not? And I'm glad I did. Bam, look at, look right here. Here it is. So happy. I really like this die cast. So, so cool, I think. Cannot wait to pick this whole wave up. It, it, if I get this wave, I'm going to freak. Just saying. Dell Jr.'s uh, Hellman's 2018 Xfinity diecast surprised me, really did. But I was like, hmm, you know what? I really want to believe this die or this wave, but I didn't at the same time. But if I get this diecast, I would make three diecasts. I would have uh, from Dell Jr.'s Xfinity. I would have one nationwide, one X or one. What was it? I'll have a degree, a Hellman's, and a, oh, what's that sponsor? Why can't I think of it? Tax Slayer, that's what it was. Duh, I knew that. I just forgot it. I had a brain fart right there. It's been a long day. It's Monday. I'm sorry. But yeah, that was Tax Slayer. That would make the third one. Fourth one if you count the uh, nationwide. But here is a, a liquid color of that. Oh my goodness, this would be my first liquid color die cast ever, and it would be Adele Jr. How cool would that be? That would be so awesome, right? I would love that so much. It would go on my Adele Jr. shelf. Well, no, it would actually go on my uh, special die cast wall. For the die casts I really like, I put them on a wall, and this one would definitely go with it beside the cancer car from wave five now I really hope I could find this one It'd be really cool and it would just make probably my whole year sadly but yeah this is just insane but that is all I have for today thank you guys so much for watching I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it hope you guys like this wave and this video as much as I did making it but that is all I have for today. Might have a diecast review Wednesday. Maybe, maybe not. But if not, I'll do some other diecast unboxing. But anyway, I'm going to quit rambling. And I will see you all in the next video.